Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the current through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across it so long as the temperature is constant. Mathematically, we can write this down with the famous equation that V is equal to I times R, where V is the potential difference uh, across, uh, let's say, for instance, this resistor or any other ohmic conductor. I is the current going through it and R is the resistance of this component. We can also easily rearrange this equation for, let's say, the current. The current I will be equal to V divided by R, and additionally the resistance R will be equal to V divided by I. In fact, we can define our resistance to be equal to the potential difference across a component divided by the current that is going through it. The unit for resistance is known as the ohm and uh, if you're interested in what the base unit for the ohm is, uh, please have a look at my other video on the ohm and its base unit equivalent which is in the description of this video down here. We can test out the validity of Ohm's law with a simple experiment in which we have a cell that we've connected to a variable resistor, then we have a resistor with a voltmeter across it, and then also an ammeter in this circuit. The idea here is that by varying the resistance of the variable resistor, we are going to be varying the potential difference across this uh, resistor over here. Uh, as we vary the potential difference V, we're going to be measuring the current I. Now notice that we won't be using very high currents for both safety purposes, after all we really don't want to set fire to this resistor, but also to keep the temperature of the circuit from uh, increasing quite a lot, because uh, this will affect our results. After we've taken readings of the potential difference V and the current I, we're going to plot a graph of V against I. Now, if that graph is a straight line through the origin, that tells us that V is proportional to I, which tells us that Ohm's law is in fact confirmed. Let me just show you the y equals mx plus c analysis. So in this case, if I have the following graph, um, so we can compare this with the equation of a straight line. So our equation is v is equal to ir, y is equal to mx plus c is uh, my equation of a straight line that we should know from our GCSEs. I'm just going to add a little plus zero on this end. Notice that V is on the y-axis, current is on the x-axis, our intercept is indeed zero, and then what is left for our gradient is in fact our resistance. So our gradient is equal to our resistance in this case. Okay folks, so hopefully Ohm's Law makes sense. If there are any questions, feel free to drop a comment and thank you very much for watching.